Isabel, how are you? Hi, I'm really well, yeah, thank you. Lovely to see you. Yeah. Yeah, you're looking so well. You really are looking amazing. That's really fun. Let me stop you there. Let me just admire that suit from afar. I mean, that looks amazing. And as a stylist, I notice all these things. Well, coming from you, yes. coming I mean, from really, me, it's just you know, unbelievable. It is. Thank you. What a beautiful compliment. It's, and the tie is all working really well, right wow. down to the shoes. Thank you so much. That's really, really, and as always, you impeccably turned out. Thank you. Um, you know, the other day, sometimes when meeting people or re-meeting someone, there can be awkward situations where someone steps into your personal space. We need to understand how to react to that without offending the other person. Remember, everything we do is about thinking about other people. So. When it comes to that sort of situation where someone steps too close into your space, don't jump back in a quick, sudden, jerky movement because that other person will pick up that energy, they will obviously see you doing that, and they will, it'll make them feel awkward, it'll make them feel very uncomfortable. My tip to you on this one is engage in that conversation, humor that sort of closeness for a, a couple of seconds, and then very naturally just step back and find something to compliment that other person about. So for example, if I were feeling too sort of as a, a, a lovely lady or a woman had come into my space too closely, I'm feeling awkward, I would just step back naturally, look down and say, you know, I noticed your shoes when you walked in, they are absolutely beautiful. I'd really love to get my wife a pair of those where could I, where did you get those from? And at that stage, I'm starting to talk with my hands. My hands are, are very much now in front of me. So if, if that person tried to come back into my space, she'd obviously interact with my, my fingers. And I very much doubt that that person would want to sort of have me pushing my hands into her stomach. So last weekend, I went out on this amazing dinner with my partner for my birthday. So wow. it was really special. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Where did you go? We went to, we went on the river, it was stunning, so wow. it was just so special because it was a really special birthday. How old are you? Age is just a number, bless. Come on. Anyway. How's so, it a number? It's a number. Anyway, my partner, so he bought me this beautiful Tiffany necklace um, and I just yeah. really loved it. Do you say your partner? My partner, yes. How long have you been together? Oh, I don't know. Um, five years? Why are you not married? Now that is a conversation for another time. As you all are so aware, we live in such a small world now. It's a multicultural society. And every culture we come across has different ways of approaching conversations. Some people are very direct. Some people are very polite and they know which questions to ask and which questions not to ask. And some of those questions as you all are familiar with is how old, you never ask someone how old they are, or you know, why they don't have children or are they married? These are all very personal questions and there are some ways and tools to sort of engage and, and answer those questions uh, without making the other person feel uncomfortable. So, for example, someone asks, uh, as one asked my, my colleague Isabel her age, she sort of laughed it off by saying, oh, age is just a number, it's not really important. Or, uh, why aren't you married yet? And she said, oh, that's a conversation for another time. So these are the sort of uh, answers that you can give without offending the other person. Philip, how are you doing? Fine, how are I'm, you? I'm very well. You've just caught me on the hop. My mind was elsewhere. Please, I, I know we've met a hundred times. Won't you refresh my memory on your name? Names. How good are you at remembering someone's name? There are so many scenarios, but one I want to paint this picture of is when you go to a function or you could be in the shopping mall, you could be walking down the street and someone who knows you catches your attention and says your name. And for example, Philip, how are you? and you, at that moment, forget the other person's name. What do we do? It's okay, you know, our mind might be wandering, we've got a completely different wavelength at that point in time. It is perfectly okay to say, you've literally caught me unaware, and I, you please, won't you remind me of your name? It is perfectly okay to do that. Don't ever feel embarrassed. The most embarrassing thing is continuing a conversation for five, 10, 15 minutes without you even having a clue 
who you're speaking to. You know the person, but you've completely gone blank at that moment. So just have the, the uh, confidence to say, sorry, please, I really, I've just forgotten your name. Won't you remind me?